You know, I can hardly remember the last time we went to a formal occasion. Yeah, don't tell me you're bored with being married already, are you? Hardly. You know, I think it is a deliciously romantic idea that we should just move out on Frisco until our wedding day. Now I know you're bored. Do you see me offering to sleep any place else? Well, that's probably next, you know. No, this is next. Listen, baby, you know, they're probably really busy in there. Why don't we go up to our apartment and we'll we'll talk about the wedding and make all the plans final, okay? Oh, no, absolutely not. Is this the thanks I get for risking my life in order to graduate in time so we can have a wedding? Huh? I uh, know. This is... <laughs> Be still, faint heart. <clears throat> Pick me up in an hour for the ball. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I have the wrong apartment. Waiting for something? What do you got? Hmm? Um, really. Oh, really? No, this is... Really, I'm gonna have to wait until after the... Oh. What? Did you remember to pick up your tux? I'm going to stick around for the interrogation. What about the ball? Well, yeah, I'll just be a little bit late. Now, come on, you can't miss your own awards ceremony. What will the mayor say? Forget about the mayor. What will your friends say? Oh, well, they know me. They know I don't care about that sort of thing very much. Look, you have earned this evening. Don't waste it by sticking around here. Look, this Angel Moran could be the man who put Buzz in hospital. If he isn't the one, then he might know the one who did. Well, if he does, then we'll find out with you or without you. But I want to be here so I can get the information immediately. Chief, you are a phone call away. Now go on, get out of here, enjoy yourself. Forget about it, everything's gonna be okay. All right, but you call me, all right? Good luck. Luck has nothing to do with it. Mr. Moran, may I have this dance, please? I want to make a phone call. I want to call my attorney. Yes, yeah, of course you do, Mr. Moran. We'll take care of all that. Of course. No. Frisco, hi. You're just the man we wanted to see. Yeah? Well, it's always nice to walk into a room and feel needed. What's up? <laughs> well, we're trying to convince Terry to come to the policeman's ball with us tonight. Um, see, I don't think it's going to be right, you know, after Kevin's... You know what I mean. Well, this isn't just a charity event, you know. It's a tribute to Anna. Yeah, I owe her a lot. Let's face it, we all owe her a lot. We gave her a pretty hard time. Yeah, but don't you think it'd be strange, though, if I went? You no. Know? No. Particularly because Anna Devane's being honored. Yeah. There's another reason why I think you ought to go, Terry. What? You've got to come back to the real world. It's part of getting into life again. We can't put it off forever. He's right. Patrick, are you going? Yeah. I've said some rotten things about the Port Charles uh, Police Department. I think I'd like to make amends. I think Anna would really appreciate it if you were there, too. We have to get that information out of Angel Moran as soon as possible. We're working on it. Now, you know that I do have a special interest in this case. I know. Now, I will get Moran to talk. Don't worry about that. Oh, perhaps I should get back to headquarters, you no, know? No, no, Chief, Chief, listen now. This is a big night for you. Look, we are very proud of you, Mr. Vane. And the police can use every pat on the back that they can get. Tonight is your night. Oh, thank you. Yes, I really do have to go to this ball. But you must keep in touch with me. I, I will. Promise? I will, I promise. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, dear. Mm. What are you doing? What, what, what are you practicing for? Throwing flowers, you know, for Felicia's wedding. Oh, right, a flower girl. Yep, that's me. Um, I'll offer you a little bit of advice. Maybe you, um, you actually, you shouldn't really sort of like hurl the flowers at the people. I mean, like, you know, give them black eyes and things. You should just toss them lightly, gently. 
that? Yeah, that, 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 yeah. Just I think I could do that. You could do that? Good. Isn't it time for you to get all dressed up for the party tonight? Yes, it is, and I haven't decided what I'm going to wear yet. You looked awfully pretty in that dress when you went dancing with Buzz that night. I did? Maybe mm -hmm. I should wear that dress then. Well, you could save that one for another date with Buzz, and you can wear something else pretty tonight. All right. If that's the way you feel, I won't wear that dress. I'll wear something else. I'll wear my other dress. All right? Mommy? Yes, darling? Is Buzz going to be all right? Yes, sweetheart. He's going to be fine. Because there's lots of wonderful doctors making sure of that. And now my job is to find the horrible men who did this to Buzz and make them pay for it. Is this vision of loveliness before me? I like it. Oh, why do I like it? I think it is absolutely exquisite. How is my favorite goddaughter tonight, huh? Favorite? Do I have more than one? Well, sweetheart, even if I did, you would still be my favorite goddaughter. Where's your mommy? She's getting all dressed. She's going to look more beautiful than ever. That is impossible. Oh, I almost forgot. What? I have a surprise for you. You do? Yes. <laughs> I think this might be it. Oh, okay. Watch yourself. Minute. For five minutes. <laughs> hello, this is it. Oh, well, hello, Mr. Donnelly. Are Monica. you surprised? Uh, yes, Sonny, I am surprised. I thought you would be. Don't tell me I am going to be taking two beautiful women to that policeman's ball tonight, hmm? Yep. Want to know how it happened? Yes, I want to know how it happened. Well, I knew Dr. Quartermain didn't have a date tonight. I guess her husband's busy or something. Or something. So, I wanted to get permission to call Dr. Quartermain. I think, you know, we could call her Monica from now on. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> to call her and ask her to come over here. And so you and Monica and my mommy could all go together. Splendid idea. Yes, and of course I could not say no to Robin. Of course you couldn't. And now we have the prince taking... Two Cinderella's to the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I just wonder which one the shoe will fit. I'll check that out at midnight. <laughs> uh, sweetheart, Robin, can you just come help me with the zip, please? Be right there. Okay. Excuse me, I'm needed. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, sweetheart. Be careful. Okay. Be careful. Don't fall. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Mm. Mm-hmm. Careful now, we don't want to shatter all of Robin's illusions. All right. I think we're going to have some fun tonight. I know we're going to have some fun tonight. I've even decided that I am going to control my temper as far as Alan's concerned. Mm, and I can hardly wait to see him silently fume when I walk in with you and Anna on my arm. Oh, I hear them. I'm ready. Oh. Hello. Oh, look. Oh, oh man, that dress is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I love your hair like that. Oh, thank you. We can leave just as soon as my babysitter gets here, but I've just got time to make one phone call. Is that uh, police business? Of course, yes. I'm just checking in to speak to Captain Lewis. Does he know where you're going to be tonight? Oh, yes. Well, why don't you have him check in with you if it's important? Well, he might have a lead on what happened to Buzz. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that I know exactly what Buzz would say if he were here tonight. What? He would say that you should wind up the uh, Brownstone murder case before you jump into something else. And tonight you personally do that. So you're off duty, Chief. Shall we? Yeah. 